Diaspora is a large group of people with similar heritage who have moved out to places all over the world. The term is used more generally to describe any large migration of refugees, language or culture. African diasporas play a significant role in the social economic development of their countries of origin. Watch the following video on the contribution of African diasporas from Rwanda. Rwanda's history affected the country as a whole. For survival, many Rwandans were forced to move to other parts of the world. In 2010, the government started an annual event to interact and discuss Rwanda's progress with the diaspora. We get to understand more and the impact it has. Rwanda Day began 10 years ago in uh, Brussels in 2010. We wanted to find a way to interact with the community living abroad and Rwanda Day served the purpose beautifully. An interaction between His Excellency the President, the leaders of institutions and also a way for the diaspora, uh, the people, uh, the Rwandans living abroad to um, give ideas, uh, bring challenges that they are living through, living outside and um, also bring opportunities that they wanted to explore in Rwanda. It's a whole day's event. Uh, we have the First, an exhibition that happens where Made in Rwanda products are, are on display. We bring the companies and we bring the, the heads of the organizations to meet and network with other businesses within the communities we're visiting so that we can ensure that there's a connection and products from Rwanda can be brought to the communities that we're in. We also are, are bringing uh, career opportunities to Rwanda Day, meaning that Made in Rwanda, whatever skills they're looking for and expertise, can be uh, voiced within the community living abroad so that they know what kind of skills are we are looking for. As you know, it's now the sixth province outside of the four we have, the city of Kigali and the diaspora. So um, people living abroad don't get to know or to see what happens in the country on a daily basis uh, from the right sources and the right um, uh, people uh, to discuss. If you want to open an investment account, you do it right there. If you want to know more about information without necessarily using the internet, with human interaction, it's also still important for us. So uh, it's a win-win for both people in the country and people from the diaspora. People don't have the information in businesses and I think also we're trying to, to have our young people also in the diaspora feel that they're also part of, of, of policies in government, that they can invest. It's not only about money, you can invest your time, you can invest your skills and you can also start you know, thinking about Rwanda as a startup hub for you. You don't necessarily need to, to think that you cannot open your business in Rwanda as well. So that's also the kind of initiatives that we want people to take away from Rwanda Day. What kind of initiatives or, 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 or business opportunities do they have even as diaspora in the country? Rwanda is a country building itself. 25 years ago, it was 100% reliant on aid, but today, Rwanda stands at 86% self-reliant. The government, the private sector, and the citizens, with the diaspora included, contributed to the development of the economy. Uh, we're seeing it in different ways, investment in terms of remittances. I think at, in 2010, it was around 60 million. Now we're up to 258 million. Um, we're also seeing skills, opportunities and expertise, exchanges. We're seeing an engagement from the uh, Rwandans living abroad that wasn't there before. And I think it's because we're actively um, reaching out to them and making them a part of the change and the development of Rwanda. It's about making sure that the expertise and the skills that they find living outside is also shared within the country. Uh, what they, they're able to help us with is alleviation of poverty, socioeconomic change for, uh, for um, certain uh, segment of the population. Um, they're bringing in projects, they're, and so they're prioritizing what the government is not necessarily going for immediately, they are doing themselves, and, and we're only encouraging them to come and see what um, they're able to do in Rwanda. And over the years, because Rwanda Day now, it's, it's, it's 10th, so almost 10 years on, not only have we seen investment grow in the country, it's not only due to Rwanda Day. Rwanda Day is one of the contributors, but it also showcases you know, the, what the country is doing to attract investors. Over the years, remittances into the country have increased. Nonetheless, millions of dollars are lost in the